Damn, why are these people acting weird though? What Reporting the heck? Reporting live in Tabuki City, we are currently facing a deadly treat. Huh? With this speaker, people are violently attacking Anton's folk. We don't fully know what they are as they have a chaos a lot of chaos in seconds. Let the barrage of the kids which might have the husk. People, find a shelter and barricade your homes as the people will attempt to attack you. No, the headquarters! No! Stay with me! Amy! What the? Nah, that's weird on God. Nah, like what? Zombies? This time? Who's calling? Hey, my carry dog, you haven't been answering. Yeah, my bad. Look, bro, there's something weird going on. You heard what's on the news, Ayo. Hey, this crazy zombies. You think? Ain't no way, bro. We gotta be prepared then. Bro, I'm scared. Even my heart beating fast. I think it's time we went back to our old ways. By old ways, you mean? First up, we will take a look at the Spaghetti Jet Zombie Apocalypse Z, which adds a variety of zombies with awesome animations and behaviors that will leave you amazed. This not only adds zombies, but civilization to humans who try to fend off the zombies with weapons. Camps may be found throughout the world containing survivors of the apocalypse. Bandits may also be found around the world and they sure aren't friendly in your encounters with them. Soldiers can naturally generate around the world who can be a great ally against the hordes of zombies with their heavy weapons, tanks and helicopters that deploy even more soldiers in the vicinity. This add-on also includes vehicles you may come across in your journey and this can be pretty useful as you can run over them dead and find loot in damaged vehicles. In this add-on, you can find amazing items like the barbed wire or mountable machine gun that proves useful for defending your bases against the zombies. Speaking about items, this add-on adds 3D guns with good 3D mechanics. Imagine a zombie apocalypse without a good weapon. A unique feature about these guns is that they attract zombies when used, so be cautious for you may attract an even bigger threat. To counter this, just resort to the That's melee weapons from crowbars to kitchen knives. They do less damage than guns but serve a more stealthier approach. The items in this add-on may also be found in loot crates which have a random reward system, meaning each crate is unique. This add-on is great but I feel like we can add on to most of the features, firstly the armor. Warfare armor adds 6 armor sets with great models which honestly fit in well with the zombie apocalypse theme, especially as it's compatible with any add-on regardless of adding night vision goggles. Traveler's backpack adds 4 backpacks to the game which amazed me with one unique feature. By placing it down and interacting with it, a bird will emerge which can be slept on at midnight which will fast forward to the next day which is amazing for traversing the zombie apocalypse. Grappling hook adds 4 new grapple hooks to the game which can serve a great purpose when you flee from a horde of zombies by shooting a grapple that will hook to tall structures. They each have a unique ability like the glowing grapple hook which emits light when shot. You always wanted fast travel? Well, with the bookmarks add-on, you can do just that by creating a marker at important areas you want to visit later on when you've traveled far enough and don't want to waste time traveling back. These areas can be visited by confronting the bookmarks table and clicking on the created marker which will teleport you back to it, being similar to fast travel in open world survival games culture.
Aerith Motorcycles has several new motorcycles craftable through the crafting bench and offers a variety of colors suitable to your preferences. And this makes traveling much more efficient just like in the Days Gone game. For players with a thirst for difficulty, Hardcore Mode renders your world unplayable after you've died. An alternative is the toughest Bedrock add-on which has a thirst and heat bar making it a more immersive survival experience. More simple structures as new structures which naturally spawn in your worlds. The Patrix and NRRD shader revamps the default look of Minecraft to more satisfying visuals. Tony's fog is pretty self-explanatory. Damage counter adds new visuals to the game whenever you attack a mob. Red numbers will appear stating the damage you inflicted and the green display the regenerative stats of that mob which just makes it look better in my opinion. The blood texture adds blood particles whenever you critically hit a mob or kill it and this provides an immersive experience for players who really want to feel as if their kills are really impactful. Zombie props adds new decorative blocks to the game which can be used for players who like role playing and creating maps. Here's a few images meant to help you sort the add-ons. The NRRD shader should be at the bottom and ascend to the zombie apocalypse add-on. And just like that you've sorted the resource packs. The same goes for the behaviors beginning with the warfare armors at the bottom ascending to the traveler's backpack. A quick word that these add-ons will be used for an upcoming SMP I'll be hosting for Bedrock players so if you wish to join it be sure to click the discord link in the description for further information. I'll also make a mod pack of this add-on sooner or later which will also be in the discord so be sure to join that to not miss out. Hey, um, thanks for watching. Click on this video down below for a new zombie apocalypse and I'll meet you in the next video. Bye.